While there is no shortage of fascinating cities in Italy, Milan seems to top them all because it is the country's commercial and financial hub. However, despite its economic influence, Milan also manages to retain a strong cultural and artistic influence. In addition to being known as the fashion capital of the world, Milan is also home to Gothic cathedrals, world-class cuisine, and modern art galleries. Here are most top 10 places to visit in Milan. Number 1. Milan Cathedral It took more than 600 years to complete the Milan Cathedral, or Duomo as it is known in Italian. It is located in the city's heart and in a region to the south called the Paisa del Tuomo. The cathedral was built in 1386, but it wasn't officially finished until 1965. It has an Italian Gothic style, and its front facade is truly magnificent, with countless towers, statues, and decorations. The interior is just as decorative, with some stunning stained glass windows that are bursting with color. In addition, there's a great display of artwork and some exquisitely detailed statues in between the central columns. Number 2. Gallery of Vittorio Emanuel II the Grand Gallery of Vittorio Emanuele II might be the most opulent and elaborate shopping mall you'll ever step foot inside. This promenade is covered by two glass vaulted arcades, which is regarded as one of the world's most exceptional works of glass and iron architecture. In the center is an octagonal glass dome that glitters in the sun while letting the light shine through. Versace, Gucci, and Prada are just a few of the high-end labels that call them all home, yet, you'll also discover some of Italy's oldest cafes and restaurants there. Grand Gallery of Vittorio Emanuele II is the best place to see what Milan looked like during its opulent golden age of fashion. Number 3. Castle Sofrosa Built in the 15th century by Francesco Sforza, Duke of Milan, on the ruins of a 14th century fortification, Castellos of Forzesco and Italian by the name of the family who wanted has undergone significant renovation over the centuries and now houses a number of art collections as well as interesting temporary art exhibitions. The original design has been altered and extended too much, but the 15th century castle still maintains its elegance and status of authority. It is located in the heart of Milan and is surrounded by expansive grounds to fame gardens, which were first established in 1370. As you enter the central courtyard, you'll notice the big guard towers and the sheer grandeur of the castle will astound you. At the front of the castle is an enormous brick wall topped with battlements and framed by its central watchtower. In addition to the actual castle, there are other smaller museums and collections that house a wide range of fascinating items and historical details about the castle and Milan. Number 4. Pinacutica di Brera Thanks to Napoleon, who took many of Italy's finest works of art during the 18th century and left them in Milan, there are many world-class art museums in the city, and the lovely Pinacutica di Brera is one of them. It is probably among the best places to visit in Milan for art lovers. This museum is a world-class museum with an astonishing assortment of fine paintings housed in more than 40 rooms. The collection of Italian paintings is located upstairs from the Accademia di Ballet Arti, which was created in 1776 by Maria Teresa of Austria and is still in operation today. The collection includes artwork by Italian masters like Raphael Tintoretto Veronese and Caravaggio. European masters like Brandt van Dyck and Goya are also well represented. However, visitors can also stroll through the charming streets outside the museum, eat at the many restaurants, shop at the adorable stores, and do much more. Number 5. Opera Teatro Ella Scala La Scala, regarded as the world's most prominent opera theater, has resounded with the music of all the greatest operatic composers, singers, and audiences. The 2800-seat theater is renowned and dreaded as being the most difficult in Italy. The season starts in early December and lasts through May, but tickets are frequently hard to come by. The easiest way to get tickets is through the concierge at your hotel, however it's worth checking at the box office in the same building. 
If there isn't a rehearsal going on, the museum offers access to the inside of the Opera House itself, one of the grandest in the world, where you'll find a collection of costumes from iconic performances and historical and personal mementos of the greats who performed and whose works were performed at last scale and including Verdi Rassini and the great conductor Arcuro Toscanini. Number 6. Naviglio you can see canals without traveling to Venice or Amsterdam, Malaya has its own canal system, the Naviglio Grande, and best of all, it's close to the city center where you can find the best hostels in Milan. Despite its convenient location, however, this hidden gem is frequently disregarded by the masses of tourists, making it a great escape. The walkways on either side of the canal are brimming with shops, restaurants, and bars to entertain even the most wary of travelers. Naviglio Grande is a great place to unwind on a weekend. Number 7. The Church of Santa Maria del Grazie Although this church's exterior is not particularly well known, it yet exudes beauty and grace. Built in 1497, it has a massive back basilica and a gothic style with red bricks. This church can be found on Magenta Road and is situated on Milan's other side from the Duomo. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci, one of the world's greatest artistic achievements, is located inside the structure. Hailed as a sublime work of art, this mural depicts the scene of the Last Supper as it is described in the Bible. Over the years, this work of art has been scrutinized and analyzed for its hidden meanings and content. Visit this wonderful work of art and be amazed at the significance and detail of this enduring representation. Number 8. Church of St. Brojo There is a lot to see here, starting with the large portico from the 9th century and the atrium whose carved stone capitals and portal ranked high among Europe's best examples of the Romanesque period. The Church of St. Ambrogio was founded in 386 by St. Ambrose, who was born in Milan and is the city's patron saint. The current church is a masterpiece of Romanesque architecture built in the 12th century around the choir from an earlier 9th century church. The original 4th century Sac Shallow de Saint Vitore axis is easily missed. It is located inside the final chapel on the right. Number 9. Cimitero Monument while on your ideal vacation, you must see the gigantic cemetery edifice known as Cimitero Monumental, which is situated in the north of this bustling city. It was built in the late 19th century and displays Milan's life history from the Gothic to Byzantine eras. It is also the location of notable politicians buried in Milan. You can also take a look at sculptures made by Italian artists there. The monumental cemetery isn't just a simple cemetery, it is an extraordinary outdoor museum where you can find the creations of great sculptors of the 1900s. The cemetery is divided into three different zones. If you want to learn more about the most intriguing tombs, schedule a free tour of the Milan Monumental Cemetery. The central one houses the tombs of Catholic families and individuals. To the right facing the facade is reserved for Jews, while the left is for non-Catholics. Number 10. Parco Simpani If you're in Milan for the weekend and want to get away from the busy city center, go over to Parco Simpani, which is one of the country's biggest and most tranquil parks with hundreds of trails, bicycle lanes, and sidewalks over 95 acres. Parco Simpani offers something for every kind of visitor. Whether you're taking a leisurely stroll through the grassy fields or enjoying a picnic next to the Arch of Peace Monument, you're sure to enjoy the laid-back, relaxing atmosphere of the park. For those looking for art, the park is also home to a variety of monuments and statues. Alright everyone this is it for now, thanks for watching and see you with the next travel video.